What's going on? Product video this week, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title. We're going to talk about the Sun Blessa H11 headlamp. Before we get into the actual like unboxing and, and look at everything inside, this was sent to me by Sun Blessa. They reached out to me oh probably two months ago originally, and the first contact I just ignored. Um, I kind of stopped doing the "we'll send you something for review" videos. Because uh, they, they tend to target a bunch of people and everybody does the same video. But they, they reach out to me a second time and like, look, we're going to send you two headlamps. One for you, one as a giveaway. And I like that idea. Um, if I'm going to be getting something for free, I want to. I like the idea of being able to give something back to you guys. So for the review, but I told them, this will be an honest review. This will be an honest review. I got phone ringing, the garbage man are outside. Sorry about that, if you can hear all that. Um... So, yeah, honest review. I'm going to tell you my my thoughts on it. We'll go over. I already have some stuff recorded, and it, like I said, I've had this for like two months. So, I'm going to give you the tech specs off of the Amazon store. And then in the unboxing, I, I think I might go over some of that stuff a second time. So, if there's some redundant information, um, please forgive me. I've been taking my time with this one because I wanted to actually use it a little bit. And then after all the stuff I already have recorded, I'll come back and I'll tell you what my final thoughts are on this. So the, the tech specs from Amazon, I'll hit the highlights here because there's a bunch of stuff that's kind of redundant. It is um, obviously lightweight and portable. This is a two color light. They used to make a three color light, but their, uh, their new model, the updated version has only got white and red. It's LED, the body is made out of ABS plastic, uh, 365 lumens maximum. It is a, a mini USB recharging plug, regular phone charger, you can hook it to your computer to charge it up. Uh, lithium ion battery, 29 grams. Uh, it's uh, water resistant, um, not waterproof, but water resistant. It, will, it can take some rain and some light splashing. Um, and then it says the runtime is 200 hours and everything else is redundant. So I'm gonna show you the unboxing I did um, probably a month ago. <laughs> and like I said, they sent me two. There's this one, which is the black one, and then the other one is yellow. And that's the one I'm gonna be giving away. Let me know in the comments how you think the giveaway should go. I'll do that as a separate video because it's been a while since I've done a giveaway and things have changed. Probably, I don't know. I don't really look at giveaways. But let me know what you think will work as a giveaway for this down in the comments and then I'll get a video up for that. But let me take you to the uh, actual unboxing. There we go. Two headlamps. So looking at them, they look identical. It's just the color. Let's open up the black one and we'll see what we got inside. Fits in there pretty tight. We've got the headlamp on the band. We've got a micro USB. I don't know why they don't use USB-C. It's pretty standard now. Some basic instructions. Hold two buttons, three seconds. Note, headlamp is in lock status. Unlock method. Hold two buttons for three seconds until the red light strobe. And then here are the... I'm guessing the directions. There you go. There's the name again. Some Blessa. And there's really not much. It's a bunch of languages that tell you um, basically what it says on the box. So let's take a look at the light. It's got some reflective bits on the strap here. It is elastic. It's adjustable, as you'd expect. That's kind of weird. So this strap is just kind of crimped into that buckle. So I wouldn't I wouldn't pull on that too too much. 
the light does have a little bit of was it about 45 degrees it's actually a 30 degree angle and got your charging port on the bottom it's kind of like a rubberized flap and I have already unlocked this one so there's one mode oh that's EM. oh that's really high that's off so this button has got a button on either side there's one over here just one over here to operate the two lights so there's your red there's your red off let's you hold it down you hold the red button down it goes into a white mode red perhaps you hold this button down Oh, that's really bright. That's just like, I'm right behind the camera and it's in my eyes. That's really bright. Hold both, both buttons down. It's in locked mode. Okay, so that's actually kind of handy. I have had my headlamps, um, the buttons get bumped when I'm backpacking. And then when I get to camp, my headlamp is uh, dead. So if you hold that button down, for both buttons down for three seconds... This light blinks once, and now you got full operation. Like I said, there's SOS. If the light is on and you hold the red side button, it goes in SOS. Fast strobe. And off. Okay. Hold that for three seconds. Go back into. Oh, it didn't go into red mode. This goes into uh, strobe. Okay. It seems okay. It's not. It's not super sturdy. I wouldn't really. Like, I feel like if I if I were to really put a little bit more pressure on it, I'd probably snap that right off. It's just kind of a pressure hinge on there. Probably could just pry that. Oh yeah, it pops right up. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a full charge on this one. And then tonight I'm going to set it up. I'm going to turn turn it on whatever it's medium setting is, I guess. I'll turn on a couple settings and I'll do maybe a couple nights here. And I will just run it by a clock. We'll see how long it stays on for. It says 20 hours. Right? Is that what it says? Maximum, maximum run time up to 200 hours. I'm, I'm guessing that's on red. We'll find out, though. We'll see. We'll see if, if it lasts. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to throw on a charge, and then I'll start doing some testing with it. wasn't expecting it. Um, I put it on about quarter after nine last night, turned it on, put the camera on it. I thought for sure when I came down this morning, it would be out. So it was still on and I just let it sit until for 12 hours and it was still on. Uh, that was with the, <coughs> sorry, that was with the low setting of the larger light. For, for me, if I get 12 hours out of my headlamp, that's the longest night of the year in my area. So that's pretty good. I didn't, I mean, the box says 200 hours. I'm not going to leave it set for 200 hours, but um, 
12 hours is really good. So what I'm going to do is I, I just put this on a charger. Even with it being on for 12 hours last night, it charged up in less than an hour. So there's probably still a lot of charge in there. The initial charge took a little bit longer because it was brand new. But um, tonight, I'm going to use the large light on the high setting. And I'll let it sit and see if it see how long it lasts. I, I'm pretty impressed by that. I Now, of course, weather's going to change that, I would imagine. Like in the middle of the winter, it might not last as long. But, I mean, 12 hours. <laughs> That's, I'm pretty impressed with it. So... Um, charge back up tonight. I'll throw it on on high on the uh, on the large bulb again, and we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, so that was uh, 10 hours on the maximum brightness that's sustainable. There is that, that like blast high. So if you just turn it on and you go up to high, whoop, there we go. That's low, medium, high. It's on that setting. That was 10 hours. If you hold the power button down, you get like this kind of a, your maximum 365 lumen, like that blast. That shuts off after a couple minutes to preserve the battery, I believe. But that was on the, the maximum high sustainable light and it lasted for 10 hours. That is more light than I will use at a, at a constant brightness. Just for comparison, this is my, uh, my Nebo that I just got over the summer. And um, I'm gonna run this tonight on its lowest setting and see how long this gets. I know it's not going to match even the high on this. I'm pretty sure it won't match the high on this. So that's what I'm going to do next. This is not the Sun Blessa. This will be the Nebo. Just to give a comparison, if you're looking at the, at the two, so let's put this on its low and see if it can match what this does. So that's the Nebo on its low setting, and it only lasted five hours. This went 10 hours on its high setting, on the Sun Blessing. All right, well, the Nebo is built nice. It's, it's a nicer build, but evidence is showing that the Sun Blessing is working better. I'm actually surprised by that. So, um, next clip. I'm going to try to get outside and show you how it actually works in the dark. That'll be next. So I am way more impressed with this headlamp than I thought it was going to be. And just giving you an idea, so I did those two tests and it lasted, well, over 12 hours on low. And the booklet says 200 hours on low. I was going to test this at the full 200 hours. But on a high, it's still got like 8 or 9 hours. And that Nebo I have on low, I only get 4 or 5. So uh, I figure while I'm out here, I bring this out. We do a little test. That's the low. Medium. Oh, sorry. No, that was low, medium, high, and then on the other light, we got low is more of like a floodlight than the high, and then the red, which is the red still got a lot of light to it. So. give you an idea what that looks like in practice. So, 
what are my uh my my thoughts on this after testing it for about a month i'm really really impressed by this for how honestly how light and fragile it feels this does not feel like a really high quality headlamp and i think that's where uh my misconceptions were when i first opened it that nebo is got like aluminum and it's got this really cool shape and it looks really nice but it doesn't last anywhere near as long as this and i would rather have a light that um lasts than looks good because at night i look when it's on your head you can't see it i can't see it up there i don't care what it looks like and when it's on the people that you're looking at they can't see either <laughs> all they can see is the light so a couple of things as i'm i'm editing this as i'm doing this so because it's it's been a month so i wanted to see exactly what i talked about what i didn't a couple of things i did notice um that i, I would like to see improved because no product is is perfect and uh one of the things um the the button and the charging cover are the same color and they are slightly glow in the dark not super bright but a little bit which is fine whatever although the glow in the dark on the bottom does get a little distracting if you got the lamp down low you can see it and it's not a big deal but you do notice it i don't think that really needs to be glow in the dark i guess it doesn't hurt if the the battery's dead and you're trying to charge it and it's at night but it's pretty easy to to find one other thing about this charging cover that i did notice i can't really show it because it's it's kind of small but there's no it's just a smooth piece and it does recess into this opening pretty well and it, it covers that port but most charging ports that i've seen have a little tab that goes into the charging port just to secure it and seal that port a little more just in case water gets in there it would be nice if this had that just just for a little bit of extra security when it's wet because this is pretty easy to um kind of flip up which makes it nice for charging but it's a little too easy where it could be not seated properly and let water in there now it is on the bottom so it shouldn't happen but it I, I can't imagine that's a huge change to make and i think it should have that um the differences in the two lights and i did mention it when i was up in the adirondacks the the big light is more of a spotlight and the smaller light is more of a floodlight and i noticed in that footage the low settings the, the gopro didn't pick up i was using the gopro for that it didn't pick up the low settings as well but with in person it's bright enough that when you're around camp you can see what's around you um especially that floodlight and the floodlight side the low floodlight is maybe a little bit brighter than the green light on the nebo and which is what i usually use on the nebo uh, because it's i don't use a lot of bright light so with this i use that low setting and it's fine but it's easy enough to just switch over. You don't have to turn one side off and turn the other side on. As soon as you hit the button for the other side, it just switches, which is very, very nice. There is also a memory in this. So if you're using the medium beam and then you turn it off and then you turn it back on, it will go back to the medium. So that is also nice as well. Uh, the, the, the build quality on it is, is fine. It's, there is a seam on it you can see uh if you look really close around the back here but they've got that all sealed up where the battery and all the electronics are inside it is plastic so it's not super rugged like I, you couldn't step on this i don't think well maybe you could i don't know it's pretty compact um but it makes it very light so i'm not too concerned about the build quality the the hinge maybe possibly at some point because it's just a uh, a molded little bracket that this pops into and the it's just little click little clicker it's like a it's kind of hard to see in there but it's just two little humps with some grooves in it that give it its position 
it's all that's all plastic i could definitely see at some point that wearing out but most headlights the the hinge does start to wear out at a certain point the only other concern that i really have about this um functionally it's fine the the battery life is crazy long uh at least for for me i, I don't know maybe some people only want to charge your headlamp once a year i don't know for me if i can charge this once in every few trips then i'm happy and i think it would probably last if you're only using it sporadically throughout the night um you, you might get five or six trips out of a single charge on this if you're using it more consistently obviously you're going to want to charge it more but it all depends on how you use it um the the only other concern i have is this band i'm not a big fan of headbands but there's only so many ways you can attach a headlamp to your head the the way this is made is this looks like you can see how this is wrapped around this side and you can you could take that off if you wanted to um but this piece there's no stitching that holds this elastic into this this is just cramped on crimped on to the elastic and if that frays or you pull on it too hard it's gonna pop out and i don't see a way of fixing that there's no way to fix that and it's the same on the slider piece which gets less tension on it but yeah if that pops out you can't like feed it back through and restitch it and i don't think you can recrimp this I'm, I'm assuming once you like that's a one-time deal so that the headband is really my biggest concern as far as quality and i don't see a way oh well, maybe you can i don't know i don't know if you can replace this or not i mean if this popped out you could just slide it out but i don't know how you slide a new piece into there so that's really my biggest concern is the the head strap if that fails um you got to do something to to rig it back together uh and I, I don't know what that would be so really the only real downside i see this strap and this little charging port um, I would like to see USB-C because pretty much everything is going USB-C and having to carry an extra charging cable with you just for your headlamp kind of sucks. Although it does last long enough, you shouldn't have to charge it too often, but I mean, USB-C is pretty, uh, pretty common now, but that's the Sunblessa H11. I will be a hundred percent honest. I thought I was going to tear this thing apart. And it was going to be a uh, garbage when i first saw it that's what i thought i thought it's, it's not going to last it's not going to work uh, it's going to like shut off immediately it's going to overheat it's going to have all these issues no really not just a couple little things um that can be easily fixed and maybe this um head strap maybe it's sturdier than it looks i just see that as a as a failure point at some point like if that fails it's failed there's there's not much else you can do with it so i mean i yeah i mean you could just sew a loop into it and permanently attach it or sew another piece onto it i guess i don't know and that's just me nitpicking i think um because i i build stuff so i that's what i look at that kind of stuff but it might be nothing that that may last forever I don't know. I don't see any wear and tear on it over the, the month I've been using it. So let me know what you guys think in the, in the bottom. Have you been looking at the Sunblessa headlamps? Um, I don't. I haven't looked at any other reviews of them. I don't know what kind of luck other people have had. And that's what I like to do. I don't want to look at what other people are saying. I want to give my, my actual input on it. And I want it to take my time with this one. So after a month of having it and using it, it's going to be my, this will be my go-to. This is going to replace my Nebo. 
And again, I, I want to like that Nebo because it looks really cool, but the red light kind of sucks and the battery life is not fantastic. The red light on this is really bright. Um, not obnoxiously bright, but brighter than I've had on a headlamp in a while. So that's a bonus. And I like the, the floodlight and spotlight options that they're, they're two different things there. I was trying to figure out why there was two white lights on this. And once I start using that, I realize, oh, this is more diffused. So if you're just in camp and like when we were at the, the shelter, when I was making my food, if we're just sitting there and kind of organizing stuff, I'm just using that floodlight. If I need to look at something specifically, or if I'm walking, then I switch over to the spotlight and I get a good light right out in front of me. So, um, yep, I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments how you'd like to see a giveaway run, or if you even want a giveaway. Does anybody want one of these? I got the yellow one. Who wants the yellow one? So let me know. I'll, I'll set up something for the giveaway, and we'll get a video up for that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I was surprised at how good this was. So again, not paid by these guys. Um, they sent it to me to do an actual review on, and I... Uh, you know, I don't like tearing companies down, but if I see a problem, I will point it out. And right now, this is a very good headlamp. We'll see how that goes in the future. But I don't see anything mechanically that's going to go wrong aside from just wear and tear. And I'll let you know in the future. If something really bad happens to it, I'll let you know. But I don't see anything. I don't foresee anything happening to it in the way it's configured. So let me know. You guys want to see a giveaway for the yellow one? If you want the yellow one, let me know in the bottom and we'll get that all set up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to do it for me for this video. Hopefully I'm outside for the next one. See you in the next.